Wow, now that is the perfect margarita right there. Mmm. Good, refreshing, awesome margarita. Mmm. Hello everyone, Andrew here, and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect margarita today. Now, years ago, I was actually a bar man manager, and I perfected what I thought was the perfect margarita. And guests always love my margaritas. And I always said that the mistake that so many people made was not getting the ingredients right. Some people would just overpower it with the tequila, and all you would taste was the tequila. And there is an art and skill to making a margarita. So I'm going to show you everything you need today to make the margarita and also the proportions you're going to need and what glassware you're going to need for it. So to start with, I prefer my margaritas straight up. Some people prefer them on the rocks, some people prefer, prefer them blended. If you're going to do them blended, you're going to want to put them in just a margarita glass. If you're going to do them straight up, you're going to want to use a martini glass. And if you're going to use them on the rocks, you're just going to want to use a rocks glass. Also, you're going to need some fresh limes, some margarita salt and also fresh ice. Now always use a high quality tequila and a high quality orange liqueur. I'm a big fan of Patron so I'm going to use the Patron silver and the Patron orange liqueur. Some people use triple sec in there and triple sec is kind of on the cheap end of getting your um, orange liqueur for that so go ahead and use a good quality orange liqueur, a good quality Patron. Some people use Cointreau and I'm also going to use just a little bit of Grand Marnay, which is another orange flavor liqueur on the top of that. Some people refer to that as a Cadillac margarita. Um, some people use this in it, some people do not, but I'm going to show you quickly what you're going to do. First thing you're going to want to do is have your shaker of ice here. Now what I do is, I generally don't measure it, I just go by eye and I know how much exactly to put in there. But for, the, for, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually measure it in there. I use about an ounce and a half of tequila. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my ounce and a half of tequila in there. And I use about an ounce of the Patron Orange. About that much. Okay. Then what, uh, the mistake other things the mistake people make is they'll just use sweet and sour mix and sweet and sour mix is just Pretty much sugar is what it is. So to make an authentic margarita, you just want the juice. You want about one ounce of lime juice. So if you have a large lime, you're going to get about one ounce of lime juice out of a large lime. So what I'm going to do there is strictly squeeze that lime right in there. You can measure this out if you want to. You can have this pre-measured. But for today's purposes, I'm just squeezing it right in there. Let's try to get all that juice right out of there. Don't worry if you get a little pulp in there because you're going to strain this out into the glass. So again, I'm putting about one ounce of lime juice in there. Then what you want to do is go ahead and give that a good shake. Shake that up. Shake that up real good. Now most people like salt on the salt on the rim. So what you do for that is you get yourself some good margarita salt. And just take your lime that you're going to use for your garnish and just run that along the, the rim of your glass there. And then put that right in your margarita salt. So you get some good margar good salt on there. Gives you a good con contrast in flavors. And then the same thing if you're gonna make it on a in a rocks glass, go ahead and put that on there. Now what I do is if I make it in the rocks glass, you wanna have a good quality ice, like a round ice, because if you use a round ice cube like these, the ice is gonna last longer. It's a warm day out here, so it's actually melting a little bit on you already. But by using the large ice like that, it's going to last longer and preserve the flavor of that margarita. What I'm doing is I prefer mine on the rocks. So I'm just going to strain it right into my margarita glass. Oh, that looks good already. Now 
Now if you notice with that that I used there, you've got the perfect size fill here of your margarita. Go ahead and garnish that with the lime. And I, as I mentioned, to make what they call a Cadillac margarita, just get yourself, if you want a little extra treat, get yourself some Grand Marnay. Now I just got just a tiny bottle of this because I'm just making this one here. So, But just go ahead and what they call, add a little bit there to it. Just kind of circle the top of your glass. Now what you have there is the perfect margarita. Oh, that is good. That is good. It's not overpowered with the tequila. It's not overpowered with the lime. All the flavors together. Oh, man. And again, you could add the same thing here on the rocks. Just pour it right into the rocks glass instead of in there. Uh, margarita glass if you're going to make it blended, but you just enjoy it this way right here. A great summer drink, and there you have it. The recipe for the perfect margarita. Thanks for watching. Okay, everyone. Well, that is the perfect margarita. And if you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like. If this is your first time here, please subscribe also. And, you know, we do a lot of different things on our channel here. One of the things I like to do is some cooking videos, some drink videos. As I'd mentioned, I was a bar manager for quite a few years and learned to make a lot of different drinks. So tell me your favorite drink and what drink you would like like to see us make. Um, again, margaritas have always been one of my favorite drinks to make. Perfect any time of year, great for the summer, great any time of year really. But tell me in the comments down below what you'd like to see, what drinks you'd like to make, how you make yours differently if you do. And again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so the ingredients and the recipe will be down below for the perfect margarita. But like I mentioned, you want to have yourself some good Tequila, make sure you use a 100% agave tequila. That's going to make your best margarita. You're going to want a good orange liqueur. I prefer Patron, but some people use Cointreau as well. And on this one, I added some Grand Marnay and, of course, fresh lime. And again, the ingredients and the uh, proportions are down below for you. Thank you. Mm.